Indirect method cash flows. The following financial statements were provided by Marvin Company for the financial year ended 31st of December. We are asked to calculate using the indirect method the cash flows and operating activities. So the first step that we need to do for calculating under the indirect method is to record our net profit as the first line. So the net profit is going to be transformed into the cash flows from operations number. So the question tells us in the additional information that the net profit for the period is 47,890. So we write this down first, that's our first line. Next, the section we're going to do is permanent differences. These are differences that will never result in a cash flow. They are essentially accrual adjustments. The types of permanent differences that we have include things like depreciation, gains on losses on the sale of non-current assets. So we need to firstly calculate how much depreciation did we have for the period. So we can do one of two methods for how to calculate this depreciation. The first method is known as the shortcut method. The shortcut method has some rules and the rules are that there need to have been no sales and no revaluations during the period for that non-current asset. That's because sales and revaluations result in a write down of accumulated depreciation, which means that we can't just simply take the difference between the closing accumulated depreciation and the opening accumulated depreciation. So we need to check the additional information to see if there's been any sales or revaluations of our non-current assets. If that's the case that there have been sales and revaluations, we have to do what's known as the long way.